In today's episode, Games of Young Patriots, the Ismail unit accepted 500 children. Paratroopers fought back and managed to neutralize the saboteurs. The joint forces of border guards showed what would happen to the enemy if it would try to land on the coast of the Azov Sea. A dozen prostitutes for sea wolves. An operation of pimps was stopped in the port of Mykolaiv. These boys and girls came to the Odessa Oblast from 18 regions of Ukraine to meet each other, compete and get the feeling of being true Green Berets. They are participants of the All-Ukrainian Frontier Jura training that was hosted by the Ismail Border Unit this year. The event was supported by local authorities and the Ministry of Youth Sports. Half a thousand young people gathered here from different border regions of Ukraine, from Transcarpathia to Luhansk region, from Chernihiv to Mariupol. This weekly program is very busy. It includes document inspection, chronology basics, self-defense and, of course, shooting, although in the paintball format. But does that mean there is less adrenaline? It's awesome, I'm really fully enjoying it, and everything is going well. Training takes place at 16 locations. This is where the young pathfinders have gathered. It turns out figuring out the plans of a crafty criminal is not that easy, but it is a very interesting challenge. And this is the checkpoint. According to the briefing, there are several stashes that they have to find. There are three packages with narcotic substances hidden inside a vehicle. You have seven minutes to find them. Even though they didn't manage to find all three stashes, it was a pretty good start. And this is where an experienced instructor teaches how to distinguish a genuine passport from a fake one. It is a fairly complicated task and process. Military routines and daily training are not easy. Nevertheless, there is still a large number of girls among the participants. It's very exciting, it's interesting, and it gives you a chance to discover something new. This is the third time that the all-Ukrainian training Frontier Jura is being held by the Green Berets. The unique feature of this year's exercise is meeting the Marine Guard of the Border Agency. They begin with some action. The participants are shown a vessel with offenders being captured by the Special Forces of the Dozor M unit. Then they are taken for a tour. Did you enjoy it? Well, that's good. Now it's time for training. The work of border guards is difficult and complex. But no one has given up learning how to tie naval knots. The project is progressing with every year, and this year has been one of the most intense and successful. Several centuries ago, students of the Cossack commanders were called Juras. They carried weapons and helped during campaigns. When they grew up, they joined the military ranks. Modern-day Juras are united by a common goal – defense of their homeland. Who knows, maybe for many of them, this training was considered the first step to becoming a border guard. This is another training ground and the competitions here are not for children at all. Over the course of five days, Green Berets from the Allied forces had been fighting off the attacks of enemy troops on the coast of the Azov Sea and neutralizing a sabotage squad. Humvee and armored personnel carriers APC crews of the Donetsk border unit worked in close to combat conditions. Their main tasks was to perform proper maneuvers and strike targets, both on the move and while stationary. The changing weather conditions were not favorable for the border guards. The heat, wind and occasionally rain complicated their task, though this gave them drive. There was enough during night training, as darkness is a formidable opponent regardless of the time of the year. Snipers trained along with their colleagues, and even though personal skills and pinpoint precision matter the most, the success of the operation depends on each member of the team. They adjusted their firing and conducted recon with drones. This time around, the tested equipment also came in very handy. In the neighborhood, another group was performing an equally important task – hunting enemy saboteurs. Before you can see your opponent, this is the sabotage and intelligence group that is going to operate within the defined area. According to the briefing, the enemy has captured a Ukrainian checkpoint. The task of the fighters of the Mariupol mobile border checkpoint was to neutralize the enemy. As usual, a detailed briefing was given prior to the operation. Bravo and Charlie squads are moving behind the vehicles, around 20 meters from the vehicles. 
proper movement and coordination are half of the success for military operations. Thus, an instructor watches every move of his subordinates very closely. A small grenade is thrown. We're approaching the checkpoint and start the cleanup. Next, everything depended on the speed and teamwork of the squad. As we can see, they did their job well. Watch next, a dozen prostitutes for sea wolves. A port pimp operation was stopped in Mykolaiv. So you have stones, such was the assessment that border guards made that was not in favor of the smugglers of amber. Ukrainians are very lucky. On the south, our country is washed by two seas, the Black Sea and the Azov Sea. This means not just beach holidays, but also trading on the high seas. Last year, the cargo turnover of Ukrainian ports exceeded 135 million tons. About a quarter of this freight came from Mykolaiv. Due to its convenient location, this corner of the Black Sea has been a focal point of shipping for almost three millennia. The remains of a unique port city that existed here in the 10th century BC in the time of the legendary Troy have been preserved here to this day. The descendants of ancient merchants and sailors are very proud of this tradition. It turns out that there is still a great demand for representatives of another ancient profession. Three residents of this city had similar business ideas, even though they didn't know each other. Just like in ancient times, the women set about organizing the favorite pastime of foreign ship sailors. Taxi drivers were responsible for selecting the customers. They offered the guests to spend some time with girls. Those who were interested in the offer were delivered to the right addresses, for which they received their share of profits. The clients were served by 12 Ukrainian girls in rented apartments. The pay was hourly, starting at $100. The schedule was strict and the distribution of profits was clearly defined. Everything went like clockwork, although not for long. Law enforcement officers had for some time been tracing the activity of underground brothels. And finally, a large-scale operation put an end to this illegal business. 21 searches were carried out by police, prosecutors and border guards. The results speak for themselves. A whole bunch of currency, work phones, black bootkeeping and credit cards. And how could they do without these expendable resources? Brothel workers are facing administrative punishment for prostitution, and the activity of their employers is classified as criminal. The pimps can be easily put behind bars for four to seven years. Ukraine, Belarus, Poland, Lithuania and Latvia. These countries have the largest deposits of amber in Europe, which today is still called the Solar Rock. This valuable mineral is in high demand on world markets. Accordingly, its prices are consistently high. Poland and the Baltic countries have an established market for amber, which has already become a tourist business card for them. But while the neighbors have proper legislation that governs this trade, there are certain problems with this in Ukraine. The absence of a legal field makes it impossible to run a legitimate business, though it gives a huge opportunity to run a criminal business. Black prospectors have already turned hundreds of hectares of ancient Polisia forests into a Martian desert. The valuables obtained in this barbaric way are transferred across the border through smuggling. Recently, border guards with their colleagues found amber treasures in this vehicle. They found over 24 kilograms of processed amber while inspecting the trunk of the vehicle. The 50-year-old resident of Transcarpathia and driver of the vehicle was trying to take the valuable gifts to Hungary through the Tisa checkpoint. These brave men turned out to be more creative. Who would check a whole car searching for contraband? thought a Polish citizen, so he stuffed over 43 kilograms of amber into the cavities of his vehicle. Needless to say, the border guards of the Mukachevo department had to put great efforts into pulling these precious stones out of the vehicle. 